Happy New Year, all my aviation enthusiast friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to program the 737-500-FMS for a complete flight plan. So, hope you enjoy it. Hope you get something out of it. And uh, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Decision height. Decision height. To start, we're going to push the button to accept. All right, push the flight plan button, FLP. Now you could do this one of two ways for the airport. You can either type in the four digit code of our departure airport, or you can push the list button. And that list will bring up all the intersections, NDBs, VORs, uh, waypoints around us. So we're gonna go up to airport and choose number one because that's phoenix push number one and then push enter and that will insert the airport from our departure in the first line now we are going to type in our waypoints so our first one is header push enter then we're going to enter blh for our next one and then we're going to push enter and now we're going to enter our destination so I'm only typing in two waypoints manually so we're going to Los Angeles and we hit enter now that those are inputted we're gonna hit the menu button to bring up our option for depart which is on the bottom left and we're gonna use the number pad again to enter in the runway. So I'm leaving from runway eight, that's number three, and I'm taking off Moby three, so that's number four, hit enter. And if you wanna select a transition, you can do that. I'm not gonna do that. So uh, I'm just gonna leave Moby three, hit enter. And now, as you can see, it's put all the info in. All right, let's push the menu button again, choose arrive. So we can choose our runway. So we're gonna to go to runway number seven, 25 left. So seven, enter, push the next page button. So next, and now number 14 for CVU2 to enter our star, and then hit enter. The one thing I've seen uh, with this, I've tried about a dozen airports, and you cannot enter an approach uh, like an ILS or an RNAV approach or whatever approach is available for the uh, destination airport. It's not available in this FMC. We need to enter it in a different way, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. That no link is equal to uh, discontinuity in other aircrafts. Choose the line, push delete, push delete again, and that will get rid of it. Now, if you are somewhere across the globe and you want to enter a new waypoint you can push that list button and wherever you are at that list button when it's pushed will bring up all the airports around your location all the VORs the NDBs the intersections waypoints and things like that if you would like to put a new waypoint in just choose the line where you want it to go hit list follow the numbers and then push enter and it will insert that new waypoint in for you. While you're flying along your route, if you want to select a waypoint and fly directly to it, push the DTO button on the top line, push the waypoint you would like to fly to, and then hit enter and that will direct your plane directly to the waypoint you just chose. 
Now we need to enter the approach to KLAX. Go back to the main screen, push navigation. Click the uh, approach button down there on the bottom left. And we are going to choose I-25 left. And now that is inserted into our flight plan. Now when we go back to the FMC and check everything, we will see that it is completely entered in. And now we are ready to start our engines and take off. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this mini tutorial on the Boeing 737-500 FMS programming. If you have any questions at all, please hit me up in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Hope you have fun flying the friendly skies of Aerofly. Talk to y'all later. Happy New Year.